tired of seeing your readers struggle while you repeat the same phonics lessons over and over, only to find that the concepts just don't stick? Frustrated by the lack of progress and in need of a solution that actually works? What if there was just one quick fix for your instruction that would guarantee improvements in the learning of letter sounds and reading and spelling? You want to know, right? Right, yeah. Course. Hi, I'm Dr. Marnie Ginsberg of Reading Simplified, where we streamline reading instruction and accelerate students' reading achievement. And I'm here to share a game-changing secret that has transformed reading instruction and outcomes for countless educators and students. Buckle up, because this quick fix will show your students immediate improvements in reading and spelling. Before you understand the power of this quick fix, you need to know how kids learn to read and spell. Good readers are those who have gone through a process of reorganizing their brain. Specifically, good readers have spent many hours processing how individual sounds and words map on to specific spellings. They've gotten the concept of the alphabetic principle, and then they've gained excellent in processing speed, knowing how sounds and symbols relate in words. For the good reader, words are no longer simply an auditory signal. Rather, she now sees in her mind's eye in some way the spelling of the word when she considers the word. Sound and symbols are linked permanently. As teachers, we can facilitate this process coming online, so to speak, more rapidly by having students connect sounds and symbols all day long. One of the best actions to coach students is simply the write and say strategy. When students are writing words, have them say each sound as they write each spelling. For example, have them say s-a-t as they write Set. This write and say strategy will help the reorganization that's necessary for our students to allow them to connect phonemes and graphemes, sounds and symbols, and unknown words. Each write and say opportunity is an additional retrieval practice for letter sound knowledge and phonemic segmentation, two of the most important foundational skills for strong reading and spelling. Hey, is this info just what you need to help improve your reading instruction? Then consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel so you don't miss our next release, and sharing this video with a colleague. Always doing write and say is how we roll here at Reading Simplified. All our keyword work activities include mapping phonemes to graphemes or connecting sounds and symbols. With the activities Build It and Switch It, we say the sound as we pull down the letter sound card or tile. With the activities Read It and Sort It, we write and say each sound just after we read the word. And in the Write It activity, students write and say words or phrases or sentences that the teacher dictates. When we help students make these connections, saying, seeing, and writing spellings and words, the phonics will stick so much more easily. You should see letter sound knowledge improve as well as decoding and spelling as soon as you start to implement this. Start with the littlest readers with this simple write and say strategy. Okay, can you write hit? Uh -huh. Yeah, I hear it. What's that first sound? And hit, what's the first thing? I can't say yet. Well, let me help you. Hit. What's that first sound? Wow, what sound was that? H. That's his letter. What sound do I say at the beginning? That's my last name. See, it's so easy for you. Okay, so you've got the first sound and hit. What's the next sound? Hit. Can you say the sound by, by itself? You got a nice looking? What's the next sound? Hit. Oh, that's right. That's at the end. Oh, you already got this sound. What sound is that? I. Yeah, that's his <coughs> name, but the sound isn't height. The sound in the middle of this word is hit. What sound do I hear? You got hit. the it. Yes, you, you got the right um, letter. I just want you to say it. Can you say it? It. So you've got ha, it, hit. And what's the last sound? I think you said it earlier. Hit. Tits. That's right. Hit. The whole word and this by itself is <laughs> or first graders still learning how to crack the code can do this this is the sound you got it yes. 
Yes. I am so proud of you. Let's erase it once at a time. Ready? Mm. Ah. Wow. And even adults with dyslexia starting remediation can do right and say. Perfect. The first sound is short. Uh, it's the same letter. Same letter for the vowel is in list. Uh, Say it. Eh. Good. Win. Win. Uh huh. Win. And the last sound in wind. The perfect wind. good when wind yeah don't just stop with short vowel words have students also connect even advanced phonics such as the e a and each to the e sound e as students progress, encourage them to continue this write and say process throughout the school day with even complete sentences Er, you've got er. Where's Lee? Lee. Four. Hey. Are you starting to realize the potential of this simple tweak of write and say, and what what it might do for your reading and spelling instruction? Please let us know in the comments what you discover when you try it out. But what if your student finds this too challenging? Well, then you may need to support them with a couple of our other core activities here at Reading Simplified. So please sign up for our on-demand complimentary workshop, three activities a day to keep reading difficulties away. And this will help you support your students prepare for write and say, and then succeed. Here's to making great readers. Mm -hmm.